What's happening guys? Welcome to The Basement. Today we're taking a look at the long anticipated reprint of Tales from the Crypt Volume 1 by Dark Horse Comics. Stay tuned. <laughs> So not long ago, Dark Horse put out five hardcovers of Tales from the Crypt EC Archives. Now, I didn't pick those up. I thought they were too expensive. I missed the boat. Thankfully, they are reprinting them. Now, this is volume one of the paperback, as you can see here, and it was a little difficult to get this. I mean, it kept going out of stock. I kind of procrastinated on it for a while, but it is here, so let's check it out. Here we have my only hardcover of volume two. I'm just comparing the sizes. They seem to be just about the same, except for the thickness, it's about half the size. And here it is up against the regular size trade paperback. A great and easy way to support the channel is by checking out that site right there where you can pick up my self-published comics and children's books directly from Amazon, starting at only a few bucks, either digitally or paperback. Kicking it off now, we have a nice illustration of the original Crypt Keeper. This book collects The Crypt of Terror, number 17 to 19, and Tales from the Crypt, number 20 to 22. We have a nice introduction here by Grant Giesman discussing the creation of EC Comics, and also a foreword by the master horror filmmaker John Carpenter. So there is a reason why these stories are still being reprinted today after almost 75 years and that's because they're simply awesome and some of the best horror stories ever written, even by today's standards. Regarding EC comic titles like Tales from the Crypt, The Haunt of Fear, and Vault of Horror, etc. We have tales of zombies in here, vampires, werewolves, things from beyond, stories of jealousy, murder, and madness. A lot of these stories really test the limits of the human psyche and go on to deliver a well-rounded, horrific, and entertaining experience. I absolutely love this volume. 95% of the stories in here are a quality, including the artwork. Usually pages with this much dialogue on them would bother me, but I was really sucked into all the details each story was comprised of. Every story is roughly five to seven pages, including an intro page, which includes a large illustration and usually an introduction, either by the Crypt Keeper, the Old Witch, etc. You have such a great variety of horror stories in this book. I mean, it's ridiculous, the, the consistency and the quality of these stories, as well as the artwork. This one here is a great story. It's about a woman who's staring out a window. She witnesses a murder. Um, shortly after she loses her voice, her husband calls the doctor, but it turns out the doctor is actually the murderer and uh, has to have this woman committed in order to keep her silent. This one here is about a woman trying to poison her husband and steal his money after he's dead and run off with her lover. Turns out it doesn't quite work out that way. He just becomes immune to the poison. She keeps trying to slip little bits of it into his food. Um, and there's a quite a interesting twist that happens at the end, which I obviously can't tell you about. This one here has to do with a man. He's going for a walk. He notices somebody chiseling a name on a grave and a time of death. Well, it turns out to be his name. And the time of death is stated for today. Now, the man chiseling the stone says that he's just practicing his skills. He's a stonemason. He makes gravestones. The man ends up falling in love with the stonemason's wife, which later go on to produce some very horrific and interesting results. If you like horror in any way, shape, or form, stop this video right now, pick this up, you will not be disappointed. Now, the next volume is set to release next year, but they are also reprinting other EC Archive series that are equally as good, like Haunt of Fear, Vault of Horror, Shock Suspense Stories, I had some of these single issue reprints growing up, so it's nice to have them in a completed edition. 
My only complaint about this book is that it's a little flimsy and difficult to hold. The hardcovers were more comfortable, but for the price point, this is the best option. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already, and we will see you next time. Take care.